The search is over. A missing Overland Park woman was found dead in Benton County, Arkansas. All this just hours after her husband walked into a hotel near the Legends outlet in KCK and said he killed her. He fired five or six shots at police before officers returned fire, killing him. We have team coverage of this developing story tonight. We'll get to Ariel Rothfield in just a minute. But first, let's head out to Mackenzie Nelson, who was at today's press conference. Mackenzie, what did you learn today? Well, Kevin, during that press conference, police said that last night they found a home, uh, found a letter in the home of Charles Pearson in Lenexa that detailed the location of where his wife's body was later found in Arkansas around six o'clock last night. It's my understanding it was just a diagram of this is where you will find her. And it was pretty accurate because they found her relatively quickly once they check that area. This all started Monday after police said Sylvia Pearson willingly left her home with her estranged husband, Charles Pearson, and did not return. A family member later reported her missing to police. What we did was we were able at some point on Monday evening to ping her phone and it was showing that the phone was somewhere in Cass County, Missouri. Police said Monday they questioned her husband, Charles, who was cooperative and allowed them to search his car and home. Tuesday morning before KCK police shot and killed Charles, police said he reached out for help. Yesterday morning, the 13th, Tuesday morning, it's under our understanding that Mr. Pearson reached out to family and friends and advised them that he was suicidal. Tuesday afternoon, the search for Sylvia continued in Cass County, but later came to a halt when police found a handwritten note from Charles. We were made aware that a note was found in the residence in Lenexa that Mr. Pearson had left, which detailed um, where the where Mrs. Pearson's body might be found. The note led officers to the Lost Bridge area of Garfield, Arkansas, near a lodge on Whitney Mountain. Friends of Charles said they were shocked and disheartened by the news. That's, that was completely not something I would think from Chuck mm -hmm. at all. Um, he was a very mild tempered person. He he was very peaceful, like it was all love with him. Neighbors of Sylvia said she and her sons were new to the Overland Park neighborhood. But she really seemed like a nice woman. She was always friendly and smiling and waving when we saw each other. Um, and the kids all seemed really good too. As of right now, no cause of death has been determined for Sylvia Pearson. Also, an autopsy for her has also not been scheduled at this time. Live in Overland Park, Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News.